The Mike Wagner Show is powered by Sonic Web Studios. Hi, this is Mia Mohsen Zia, also known as Mia No Time for Love. Check out my latest book, Missing, available in print and ebook format on Amazon. It's now time for the Mike Wagner Show, powered by Sonic Web Studios. Visit online at sonicwebstudios.com for all your needs. The Mike Wagner Show can be heard on Spreaker, Spotify, iHeartRadio, YouTube, iTunes, Anchor FM, Radio Public, and the MikeWagnerShow.com. Mike brings you great guests and interesting people from all across the globe. So sit back, relax, and enjoy another great episode of the Mike Wagner Show. Hey everybody, it's Mike from the Mike Wagner Show, powered by Sonic Web Studios. Visit online at sonicwebstudios.com for all your needs. Looking at a professional website without breaking your budget? Sonic Web Studios is the answer. Sonic Web Studios offers fast, affordable custom web designs that blow the competition away. Call today, 1-800-303-3960. That's 1-800-303-3960. Or email to support at sonicwebstudios.com. Mention the Mike Wagner Show, get 20% off your first project. Sonic Web Studios, take your image to the next level. Also, time to give an official shout out to our official sponsor of the Mike Widener Show, international war ring author Mia Molson Zia. If you love fast paced mysteries, you'll love Missing by Mia Molson Zia, available on Amazon and paperback and ebook. Missing is fast paced and intriguing with an unforgettable twist. It takes place in four countries, two strangers, one target, where truth is illusion and those you love will be the first go missing. It's available on Amazon and paperback and ebook. Missing by Mia Molson Zia has garnered great reviews and even love and enjoys by Howard celebrities, including Joanna Cassidy, Forge Riley, and many others. So grab your copy today for Goes Missing by Mia Molson Zia, available on Amazon. Also, check out the Mike Widener Show at themikewidenershow.com and over 30 podcast platforms, including Facebook, SoundCloud, Spreaker, Spotify, and iHeartRadio. Also, Anchor FM, iTunes, Google Play, Amazon, Audible, and Apple Music, and more. Take the Mike Widener Show with you on any mobile device. Subscribe to the Mike Widener Show on the YouTube channel. Follow the Mike Widener Show on Instagram and Twitter today. And for great gift ideas, go to Amazon.com and check out the Mike Widener Show podcast. T-shirts, pop sockets, throw pillows, tote bags, hoodies, makes great gifts 24-7. Go to Amazon.com and check out the Mike Weiner Show podcast. And for more great gift ideas, go to Amazon.com slash Mia Molson Zia for missing once and wrinkles. Also, uh, cool merchandise like T-shirts, pop sockets, hoodies, and also phone cases and more. Amazon.com slash Mia Molson Zia. Check it out today. I'll support the Mike Weiner Show on Anchor FM, PayPal, the Mike Weiner Show.com. You can buy me a coffee at buymeacoffee.com. Dot com at the Mike Wagner Show. Make sure you do so today. We're here with a terrific gentleman who is an author, surgeon, inventor, and currently practicing as chief of urology at Northern Light Eastern Maine Medical Center in Bangor, Maine. We'll talk about his amazing career. Began life in a small Indian village, attended Patra Medical College in India, and continued on in the United Kingdom, complete research and training at Massachusetts General Hospital in Boston. And he also is involved in a couple of ventures with uh, Christian Universe and KKNK TV, and he also created a brand new app, which you can all relax about. We'll talk about that, and um, it's designed to bring material change to people around the world, connecting to their um, inner flame and more, so we'll talk about that, so be at peace at this one. Live, ladies and gentlemen, from the Plus Studios in uh, beautiful downtown Bangor, Maine, somewhere in the United States among the trees, the very multi-talented author, surgeon, and inventor, and the Chief of Urology at Northern Light Eastern Maine Medical Center in Bangor Lane. Ladies and gentlemen, the multi-talented Dr. Krishna Bada. Dr. Krishna, good morning, good afternoon, good evening. Thanks for joining us today. Thank you. Thank you for that uh, wonderful introduction. Like it uh, sounded like somebody else. Um, but I do like coffee. You know. Oh, yes. <laughs> we got to have a cup sometime. Yes. Right. <laughs> coffee is yeah. always You good. have another Bronco cup? Oh, uh, you know what? That's the only one I have. I would have liked um, auction it off, but that's too precious. But you know something? I can probably find some cup and uh, send it over to you. And then when you do that, just have a cup of coffee in remembrance of me while you're doing the uh, relaxed meditation <laughs> app. So, <laughs> well, we'll yeah. talk about we'll talk about that part later. But uh, you you've been an author. You also have a couple of books. We forgot to mention your surgeon, inventor, and your you're practicing as a chief of urology at Northern Light Eastern Maine Medical in Bangor, Maine. You began life in an Indian, a small Indian village. You attended Patra Medical College in India. You um, continue your education in the UK. You complete research and your training at Massachusetts General Hospital in Boston. 
And uh, also you help with Christian Universe and KKNK TV. You're involved with that. And you also have that brand new app called Relax Meditation App. And uh, before getting to all that, Dr. Krishna, tell us how I first got started. No, that was wonderful again. Thanks for the reintroduction. But I enjoy life. I mean, that's that's my thing. And I want to help others enjoy life because uh, um, you can beat yourself every day if you want to. Mm-hmm. Um, but there are ways to just, you know, take the ones like I always say, it's like uh, I, I was going to give a ta- talk in a library on my book, Journey from Life to Life. Mm-hmm. And they put the topic death and donuts. Death and donuts. I love that. <laughs> along with some coffee. <laughs> I said, yeah, coffee goes along with that. So I said, uh, how do I put this together? And then I realized that um, I go to a donut shop. There are many donuts there. Wow. And I choose honey, you know, what is it called? Honey Carla from um, the donut series that doesn't mean there is no other donuts Mm -hmm. but i pick what i like Mm -hmm. and i like coffee so i pick my coffee not tea Mm -hmm. that doesn't mean that tea doesn't exist Mm -hmm. that doesn't mean other donuts don't exist in our life we have happiness we have joy we have sorrow we have treachery jealousy everything within us and around us i can pick you know the ones i want we have friends and, you know, many people, we can choose who we, you know, do friendship with. Um, so that's, that's how I see life, you know, so it's our choice, ultimately. Sometimes we have to coexist, and this is a new word terminology that I use, that I don't have to accept people I don't like, I don't have to accept things I don't like, I don't have to accept results that happen to me that I don't like but I can coexist with them. They can Mm -hmm. be a smaller, you know, size bag around me rather than I keep saying I have to accept it or I have to fight it. And that is kind of the whole universe exists like that. You know, I mean, the sun is hot, moon is cold. They maintain their distance, but they coexist. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, And that coexistence part is a big part of uh, the app as well, you know, there are many practices in that and uh, coexistence is one of the key kind of elements there. Mm -hmm. And and of course, you know, unfortunately it doesn't come with uh, coffee and donuts, but I'm sure you can work that in too in the app. So (laughs) maybe just have like a 3D holistic or whatever it is. But um, but of course, you know, you also been like um, an author as well too. You had your books, uh, Journey from uh, Life to Life, Achieving Higher Purpose and uh, Gita Today. And, um, you know, tell us uh, about those uh, couple of books. So Journey from Life to Life uh, is, uh, as it, it, it says, journey, you know, it maintains from getting born to the end of life. And if you live that life happily, you are more likely to have a journey beyond that in a happy, happier way. Um, for everything that we plan in our life, whether it is a trip or whether it is a, a presentation I have to do or whether I have to talk to you, mm-hmm. uh, we do some practice, we do some planning, we do, you know, set up a time and then, you know, we all, it all comes together. When it comes to death or dying, we leave it on faith or we leave it on, or just leave it, bury our head in the sand. Um, This book does talk about this life and how you can plan about things that can happen beyond that, or how you can plan if you believe, or if there is a life beyond that, again, then can you plan for that? That's the question it raises and tries to answer as best as possible from experience and from um, reading and research that I did. Mm -hmm. And of course, you also have another book called uh, Gita Today as well, too, about uh, an excellent companion to young person. And you have a really good message. And uh, tell us more about that. Gita is uh, one of my kind of core principles that I, you know, I treasure because my life, you know, Krishna was the main person who teaches Gita. And it, he stayed in mainstream. So that was his 
credit that was his problem you know because many people didn't take when you are in the mainstream people see you doing the same thing that everyone else does mm -hmm. if i was a guru i would be sitting somewhere in an ashram i would probably have a little wee beard or some sort of you know uh, trademark for that and then people will come and i will be you know at a little higher level than others but when you are in mainstream i may have the same experiences and credentials but i may appear just normal so krishna always appeared normal until he didn't until he you know had these teachings that came out of him um so i follow what he did he stayed in the mainstream and this teaching happened in a war and uh, the verses and the teachings are just amazing and uh, <clears throat> and they are no you know it's like they cross many people put him in the religion part that he belongs to you know hindu religion mm -hmm. um i see it more like a science book you know like physics chemistry doesn't belong to religion and that is my approach to that when i you know there was a simple problem uh, the arjun was the warrior and he was going to fight and he saw that he is going to kill so many people so like many pacifists he said how can i kill these people what is it worth if i kill and become a king is it worth it and it so happens that they were mostly related and known to him mm. because they were um, it's like you know like india and pakistan they were one before and they, many of the people at that time knew each other right mm -hmm. and then you have a war then you feel like you are killing your you know uh, rel relatives so and then so he was kind of paralyzed he 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 became so you know um kind of uh, infatuated by that whole uh, phenomena how can i do this and that's when Arj you know krishna comes in and he starts giving his teachings in the end he uh, big, you know fights and you know and wins the war he becomes the hero uh, of that thing uh, i'm not saying that krishna was teaching a war i mean his logic is that if you don't fight and you let the bad guys stay in then what is the future of the world mm -hmm. it also covers as well too like the formulas for success and freedom and everything and there's a lot you talk about management as well too and maybe um talk about some of the uh different management and uh how does it come to play and uh, what can we learn from it when it comes to management yeah management is a part but the one that i love you know the best you know there are many good parts of gita but one i love is five pillars of success and those five pillars of success you know are as applicable today as it was 5000 years ago and first of all of them is he says platform adhisthana means sanskrit so platform is important so you maybe you know it's like mm, let's talk about uh, president biden i mean he can do much more as a president than he could as an opposition leader or just being a vice president or or being a senator mm -hmm. you see that so so that platform is important so and um a good person or a able person should achieve you know strive for a platform better pl platform from where you can do more things for people and yourself mm -hmm. the second is the capability of the person so a bad person goes in that platform and then you can you can imagine whether it is hitler or stalin or you know the ones we know in our his history and even now what's happening um, around ukraine and russia mm -hmm. so you can see power can be if you have power how do you channelize that power is it becomes important so the quality of the person is important as well and the third is karana means the tools so you may be a, a very capable person you may mm -hmm. get the best platform but if you don't have the right tools uh, then you may not be able to dominate so it is important to develop technology that supports your your strength the fourth one is different strategies 
But I love the fifth one that many people don't like to talk is that even if you have all the four, there is some forces outside of you that may come to help you and you should ask for help mm. from them. Mm. That fifth, fifth factor is a very important factor. Although uh, for some reason, one reason or the other, uh, many of us don't want to talk about it because it might imply religion. It's not necessarily religion. You know, there are factors, you know, like in the World War II, when people were going to airdrop uh, <clears throat> the troopers, if the weather went, you know, bad, it would have been a disaster. So that weather factor or, you know, luck factor or whatever you want to call it, so those are the five pillars of success, I call them, and that, that I learned from that. Hmm. It, that it, all, it all sounds like it's almost like building a house when I think a platform. It almost sounds like, sounds like a foundation. That's what it sounds right. like. Yeah, no, I think you're right. Okay. That's very fascinating as well, too. And you also talk about uh, you're covering success, covering management and everything else. And this also yeah. applies to your career as well, too, and um, creating a bunch of new ventures. We'll get to those in just one minute. But first, listen to the Mike Widener Show at the MikeWidenerShow.com, powered by Sonic Web Studios. Visit online at SonicWebStudios.com for all your needs. Look at a professional website without breaking a budget. Sonic Web Studios is the answer. Sonic Web Studios offers fast, affordable custom web designs that blow the competition away. Call today, 1-800-303-3960. That's 1-800-303-3960. Or email to support at sonicwebstudios.com. Mention the Mike Widener Show. Get 20% off your first project. Sonic Web Studios, take your image to the next level. Also, time to give official shout out to our official sponsor of the Mike Widener Show, international warring author Mia Molson Zia. If you love fast paced mysteries, you'll love Missing by Mia Molson Zia, available on Amazon in paperback and ebook. Missing is fast paced and intriguing with an unforgettable twist. Takes place in four countries, two strangers, one target, where truth is illusion and those you love will be the first to go missing. It's available on Amazon in paperback and ebook. Missing by Mia Molson Zia has garnered great reviews and Eve 11 endorsed by Howard Solaris, including Joanna Cassidy, Forge Riley, and many others. So grab your copy today for Goes Missing by Mia Molson Zia, available on Amazon. Also, check out the Mike Widener Show and the MikeWidenerShow.com on over 30 podcast platforms. Take us with you on any mobile device. Subscribe to the Mike Widener Show on the YouTube channel. Follow the Mike Widener Show on Instagram and Twitter today for great gift ideas. Go to Amazon.com and check out the Mike Widener Show podcast. And for more great gift ideas, go to Amazon.com slash Mia Molson Zia for missing once and wrinkles and more. Also merchandise like t-shirts, pop sockets, hoodies, phone cases, and more. Amazon.com slash Mia Molson Zia. Check it out today. Also support the Mike Widener Show on Anchor FM, PayPal, themikewidenershow.com. You can buy me a coffee at buymeacoffee.com for the Mike Widener Show. Donuts not included. Make sure you do so today. We're here with uh, the amazing author, surgeon, and inventor, and um, the chief of urology um, at Northern Light uh, either. Eastern Medical Center in Maine, Dr. Krishna Bada here on the Mike Wagner Show. And um, we talked about the pillars of success. We talked about your writing career, your books, success and management playing in it. And also applies to um, your career in the um, medical field with the uh, chief of urology in um, Bangor, Maine. And uh, tell us uh, how, how you got started in your medical field. Medical field, uh, I mean, my mother wanted me to be a doctor, probably that kind of, you know, Mm -hmm. At that time, maybe I ignored it, but slowly and slowly, I drifted towards medicine. I was uh, obviously you know, bright enough to get into the medical school and get out of medical school. <laughs> um, but my medication, meditation and medicine career both went parallel, and I think it complemented each other. Many people see like it should be, you know, if you're a doctor, how can you meditate, you know? Uh, but that's not the situation for me. For me, it was always helpful uh, in my career um, in many ways. And that's how I became a doctor. So, and then of course, went to England and did my training and, and then moved to this country. And that's how it is. And uh, we've been very happy, me and my wife, she's a doctor as well. Oh, amazing. Are you guys in the same field or what, what does she practice? She is OBGYN. So oh, okay. different field, but uh, yeah. Amazing. Okay. And uh, you're also, um, you're in the urology field. Was that uh, a choice that you made or was it like uh, assigned to you or anything like that? 
Yeah, most of the, the doctors, when they go through medical school, they kind of you know figure out whether they want to be surgical field or medical field. So it was obvious that I'll be a surgical kind of intentions, you know, and then uh, aptitude. And urology is a good field. Mm -hmm. I enjoy being a urologist and uh, um, yeah. Mm -hmm. and, and it sounds like you've been in the practice for a while too, that um, you also uh, had also consult patients and everything else. And uh, you've been doing it for a while and um, you also um, help them relax as well too. And this is where another part comes into play, you know, besides your books and uh, everything. And I forgot to ask you one question. What inspired you to, um, to uh, become the author of the two books? I forgot, forgot to ask you that, believe it or not. Well, there are, of course, I was doing the meditation and I was, you know, I had a lot of different kind of experience, but there were some incidences when um, this question came, what happens, you know, it's like, a, and one of them, I, I have quoted that in the book, one of my patients in, uh, in Maine, uh, he was 87 year old and uh, he had had, I had done a big surgery on him and he recovered from that, went home. A few months later, he came back for some problems with his lungs and uh, they were treating and he was getting better, but sometimes it, things didn't go well. And one day he just called me, asked me to sit down, looked me in the eye and said, I want to go. Mm -hmm. And I didn't know what to say really, but you know, it's like I listened to him, I acknowledged it. And uh, after that, uh, I was asking myself, where is he going? Does he know or do I know? And uh, that's one of the things that kind of pushed me towards, let's write, you know, write this book. But that's not the only thing as, as you know, life, many things happen, but some things kind of trigger you. And mm -hmm. so that's the trigger I remember. Mm -hmm. and, yeah. and, of, and of course you also, um, you know, doing consulting with patients, you also um, developed uh, you know, like all kinds of applications in the, um, in the medical fields well too. And most importantly that uh, you also are involved with um, the Christian universe network and also KKNK TV. And it sounds like a, a really good TV station You're involved with the uh, Christian universe and uh, KKN KKNK TV. Ooh, that's a tongue twister. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I, 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 I like, to write, I like to write some lyrics, in, at least in you know in my language, in Hindi and Sanskrit. Um, actually, I wrote one song uh, about Maine, you know, when in Maine, and I think it is on that YouTube as well. Uh, one of my friends put the music and composed it, and that uh, that came out very good. Hmm. So, yeah, I mean. Um, few things in life, you know, keep doing some things and they keep adding up, you know, by the end of, you have few things that you have done. Mm -hmm. I always say that we have, you know, three purpose, I say, I used to say two, but now I say three, three purpose in our life. One is general purpose where you go to school, you go to college, you have a career, you make money and make sure that your body and mind is taken care of. The second is a higher purpose, we all want to do something for others and for, you know, leave, leave some contribution behind. And the third one is a deeper purpose, you know, knowing yourself. Um, and uh, that knowing yourself is what I call meditation. Any time you spend with yourself, it's not necessarily going and sitting, you know, cross-legged in the Himalayas. When I see people in Maine and probably in North Dakota, they will go away for a weekend retreat. You know, they don't call it meditation. They call, don't call it retreat. They will go in a camp and just do fishing or do a little hunting and walk. I mean, um, just purpose is to be with themselves and and be silent. Few, you, you know, spend some moment together. So that's what it is. Mm -hmm. And a lot of people do that as well, too, uh, up by where we are and where, where we are, fishing, hunting, boating, be in touch with nature and everything else. And, of course, some carry a radio, some don't. And, of course, you know, some people carry their phones to um to relax as well, too. And, of course, um, we also have the Relax Meditation app. And uh, you can just tell us about that wonderful invention and what inspired you to um, create the new app. Um. 
well, twofold inspiration. One is you know, share something that I have experienced and learned uh, personally. So it's not like I researched and created a, an app. It's a lot of that started with deeper meditation for people who have advanced, who want to do advanced meditation. But then we added so many other things to that, you know, uh, for kids. I mean, we have for kids four year old and above, and we have positive psychology, we have emotional detox, and we have, now we have creating a series, journey of a veteran, journey of a prisoner, journey of a correction officer, journey of a cancer patient. Mm. And this will be a series of five or six uh, meditations that will go there. Um, the whole thing is, you know, we talked earlier about platform. You have a, created a platform, platform where I can come, or you can talk about the book that you talk about. So that is a platform you created. For me, I created a platform, Relax app, which can be used. I mean, if I go and do a workshop, how many people will come? But through this, the potential is to reach millions. Um, and uh, fortunately, I mean, or unfortunately, I mean, more, more, mostly fortunately, there are some other programs which came early, earlier than me, Calm, Headspace, and many others who have you know, shown that there are people in America and USA who are willing to try these things out. I mean, and uh, why not give them something deeper as well? Mm -hmm. and, and also notice too, that uh, you got an amazing background as well too. You got Relax Radio on that. And you also, um, app features a lot of things like with um, mindfulness, intermittent silence, meditation, and of course, um, simply connecting um, inner frame, daily routine, everything like that. And um, tell us about some of the other features um, that we should more know about, like the ones um, you cover in general, but maybe some that, um, you know, other people can discover about, like, you know, what are some of the other features that you offer? So there are many features, but uh, as you said, intermittent silence is one of them. So um, just think of it. When you eat food, um, sometimes we become like overindulged and overeating becomes kind of, we have to hold back, right? Some good mm -hmm. food. You do that. And for that, people came out with intermittent fasting. Mm. Yes. Right. Mm -hmm. And that helps. And uh, at least many people practice that and it seems to help. There are other methods of losing weight or staying fit which people do as well. The same way, we are also used to overthinking, especially in the digital world with video games. And then we want to use our brain to the exhaustion point. So intermittent silence says, take a 10 minute break, give your brain rest for 10 minutes. And there is a structured program, you know, how you do that. Uh, it's not so much about breathing or it's, it's basically, it says, close your mouth. So when you close your mouth, all the centers in the brain that work with expression and speech, they get rested. Close your eyes. When you do that, then all the centers attached with visual pathway and observation and all those processing, they get rested. The third one is silent listening. So listening to any sound that is around there, whatever sound it may be, and not judging it, not making any judgment or just let it pass through and be there. Just acknowledge that's there. And the third one is just watching your thoughts go by and coexist with everything that is there, your emotions, your thoughts. They will all be there because some people say, make your you know, mind empty of thoughts. That's not a possibility. It doesn't happen. It's, you end up struggling and just complaining that I cannot do it. But it's not only you cannot do it, nobody can do it. Because mind is, uh, I always say there are two parts of mind, minding and mindfulness. So minding is the one that has made, made you successful, but also by its own nature of minding, you know, it keeps working all the time. The only thing you can do is more, focus more on mindfulness or something else. And the other one can be background in a, and in a smaller space, but it won't go away. Okay. Sometimes okay. emotional emotions can be emotional storms. You know? It's like 
that happens in our life one day or the other you are fired from a job or somebody you love you know doesn't exist anymore those storms will happen and they will have their time period you can shorten the time period but they will happen so you can coexist with you know anything that happens um and this attitude reflects in many of the practices on the app hmm. Okay. And, and what are some other features are you looking to uh, add on to the Relax Meditation app? Yeah, we will keep a- adding new features because uh, I believe in collective wisdom. So it's not that I know it all. So we work with a team of uh, content creators and whether it is music, uh, sleep, you know, you can't sleep, there is something for sleep. You have anxiety, there is something for anxiety. You have stress, there is something for that. But my main focus is also on how to create the best you. Hmm. I seem to like that. And I think that goes really well. I seem to like that. And where can we find the Relax Meditation app, your um, books and everything else? Where can we find all that at? So relax.org. That's the website. That's the background that we have. Um, so if you go there, there is links for uh, download. But on App Store or Google Play Store, you can go and type relax with two X. And uh, just download, download is free, explore it. And then there is subscription to that. And, uh, um, but it's, uh, you know, we are competitive and uh, we want to grow. So we need to, otherwise I would love to make it free for everybody, but uh, Mm -hmm. I have to, I'm told I should run like a business, you know. (laughs) (laughs) And of course, free coffee and donuts, I'll get people on the app. So (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> and, and of course, you know, you got some great products out there. What's coming up for uh, Dr. Krishna Bada and more. You listen to the Mike Widener Show at the themikewidenershow.com, powered by Sonic Web Studios. Visit online at sonicwebstudios.com for all your needs. Also brought to you by our official sponsor, the Mike Widener Show, international warring author Mia Molson's The Of Missing, available on Amazon and paperback and ebook. We'll be back with author, surgeon, innovator, and the creator of the Relax Meditation app, Dr. Krishna Bada. For this time the Mike Wagner Show is powered by Sonic Web Studios. If you're looking to start or upgrade your online presence, visit www.sonicwebstudios.com for all of your online needs. Call 1-800-303-3960 or visit us online at www.sonicwebstudios.com to get started today. Mention the Mike Wagner Show and get 20% off your project. Sonic Web Studios, take your image to the next level. Hey everybody, my name is Forbes Riley and I'm an American actress and a TV host. And I was delighted when I got my copy of Missing, which is Extraordinary Relation of Ordinary People based on a real life relationship. It's just, it's well written, it's amazing. You know, it talks about a man who has lost his wife and his daughter, and it's very well done. I'm gonna highly recommend that you go get your copy of Missing. It is a powerful, exciting read. Mr. Mian Moshe Zia, he is the author of Missing. And I wanna give a big shout out and a kiss all the way halfway around the world to my dear friend. Check him out at Mia's website. It's called www.miamotionzea.com. Missing, available on Amazon. Again, I'm Forbes Riley and I will see you again soon. Bye-bye. Hey, hey, this is Ray Powers, and boy, are you in luck. Right place, right time. Tuned in to the Mike Wagner Show. You heard me. We're back with uh, the amazing Dr. Krishna Bada here on the Mike Wagner Show. Talked about the Relax Meditation app and a lot more and learned a lot from you, doctor. And what else can we expect from you in 2022 and beyond? I have a book coming out, Intermittent Silence and uh, Meditation. And uh, that will be kind of a companion book for the Relax app. Mm, uh, okay. Because Relax app is is many varieties. And sometimes you wonder, which where should I start? Where should I go? So a companion book, uh, I think, will be helpful. So that will be coming out soon. And... Um, Sometimes I don't know what is coming next, but, you know, creativity happens, right? Mm -hmm. That's totally agree as well, too. And we're certainly looking forward to it, Dr. Krishna. And who do you consider biggest influence in your career? Biggest influence in my career, medical career? Uh, It Um, it can be anything. No, I enjoy uh, what I do. I enjoy teaching. 
enjoy being up to date like robotic surgery and uh, mm-hmm. one of the thing i'm working on uh, is uh, how do we help the cancer patients i mean that oh, is oh my... yes that's important yeah that's very important because yes i can do the surgery and you know then forget about it but uh, journey of a cancer patient is much more than having just a surgery is just one segment of their thing the diagnosis to you know um you know where do they go and i am i'm passionate about it so mm. this, you know. and that's very interesting as well and what's the best advice you can give to anybody at this point uh, at the moment i think coexisting whether it is family relationship personal relationship think about coexisting rather than having to accept things that you don't like and i think that is uh, I, it's my mantra as well and so life becomes a little easier i'm not saying don't do anything about the situations i'm saying coexist and then work on making it better mhm and that's a very good point as well too once again we're with the uh author of uh, the books, uh, Journey from Life to Life, Achieving Higher Purpose, and Gita Today, also the uh, Avenger, the Relax Meditation app, and uh, Chief Urology in, in Bangor, Maine, Dr. Krishna Bada here on the Mike Wagner Show. Dr. Krishna, very big thank you for your time. You've been absolutely amazing. Learned a lot from you. Looking forward to having you again soon. Make sure you keep us up to date. Keep in touch. We'd love to have you back on in 2022 and beyond. And once again, tell us about your upcoming projects. What's your website? How do people contact you? Where can people purchase your books or check out the app or in, and everything else? No, thank you. Thank you, Mike, uh, for having me. Mm-hmm. And uh, yes, relax.org. And then, of course, Amazon. Uh, the book is there. And uh, if not, you can ask your bookstore. They will get it for you. Um, and uh, thanks very much for letting me come to your show and talking about all the things I'm trying to do. <laughs> and learned a lot from you. And we wish you all the best. A very big thank you for your time. You've been totally amazing. Looking forward to having you in soon. We'd love to have you back. Keep us up to date. Keep in touch. And we wish you all the best. You've got a great future ahead of you. Okay, great. Thank you. The Mike Wagner Show is powered by Sonic Web Studios. If you're looking to start or upgrade your online presence, visit www.sonicwebstudios.com for all of your online needs. Call 1-800-303-3960 or visit us online at www.sonicwebstudios.com to get started today. Mention The Mike Wagner Show and get 20% off your project. Sonic Web Studios. Take your image to the next level. Hey everybody, my name is Forbes Riley and I'm an American actress and a TV host and I was delighted when I got my copy of Missing, which is Extraordinary Relation of Ordinary People based on a real life relationship. It's just, it's well written. It's amazing. You know, it talks about a man who has lost his wife and his daughter and it's very well done. I'm going to highly recommend that you go get your copy of Missing. It is a powerful, exciting read. Mr. Me and Moshe Zia. He is the author of Missing. And I want to give a big shout out and a kiss all the way halfway around the world to my dear friend. Check him out at Mia's website. It's called www.miamotionzea.com. Missing. Available on Amazon. Again, I'm Forbes Riley, and I will see you again soon. Bye-bye. Thanks for listening to The Mike Wagner Show, powered by Sonic Web Studios. Visit online at sonicwebstudios.com for all your needs. The Mike Wagner Show can be heard on Spreaker, Spotify, iHeartRadio, iTunes, YouTube, Anchor FM, Radio Public, and themikewagnershow.com. Please support our program with your donations at themikewagnershow.com. Join us again next time for another great episode of The Mike Wagner Show.